Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm That Awkward Bean, but you can call me Kenzie. And today, we're looking at some fashion fails, or weird fashion items, uh, on the site Board Panda. Um, I am intrigued to see some of the crazy things that exist out there in the world with y'all, so let's get on to it. So here we are on Board Panda. Uh, like I said, with Just Here to Shame Clothes from uh, a Facebook group that posts some interesting and crazy fashion finds. I went through and I opened all the images up in a new tab so we can just look at them. Um, so let's get started with the first one. Uh, are you concerned about having ugly feet this summer? No worries, we've got you covered. <laughs> Just because it's somebody else's feet does not make them any less pleasant to look at. If you're gonna wear a sandal, just rock with your toes out. Like, honestly. <laughs> Australian strippers. That's intriguing i feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of crocs you can even still put them in sport mode <laughs> honestly they're not too bad i mean they're they're definitely weird they also look like they're filled with water i, I don't know looks like it works it just doesn't uh, mixing a heel and a croc Hopefully they're at least comfy. <laughs> this is what he was going for buying, and then this is what he got. I mean... What? Okay, let me try and analyze this. It looks like he's got the, the pants part hiked up. And I mean, he's fit. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this guy. But, I mean, this is a fit man. Who is very buff. And is, like, stretching those... Well, that jumpsuit, I guess, is what it is. Look, it's one piece. Oh, excuse me. Um, I mean, uh, it's probably also kind of tailored for him. Oh! Where is this? What? What? What is this from? App Store. This has got to be fake. App Store install now. Or is that? What? Uh, you know, it's bad enough that men wear speedos, but at least it's like only at a beach or whatever. This is just. It, it basically denim underwear. Like, at least cut them, you know, here so that way they're shorts and... It would look better. <laughs> you know... <laughs> you know, <laughs> women complain all the time about not having enough pockets. So you can't complain that now you get a bunch of pockets that you know if you don't pay too much attention to it it looks like those like harem pants if they were turned into shorts or I guess cargo shorts what wait hold on can I zoom in on her feet I'm trying- is that like a messed up stripe? It looks like her foot ends here and then is like out of the shoe. I'm not even gonna talk about the face. Like, what- what is going on? What- <laughs> looks like she put toilet paper for lashes. Well, not her. Obviously someone else did that for her. But also, do we realize that like fashion shows normally have some of the like craziest clothing? Uh, now that's what I call anxiety. 
I don't see the issue with this. This is, this is cute. It's basically, it's a, it's a normal graphic tee. What? What? What was the thought process be behind this? It looks like you took a perfectly good denim dress that you made and then cut out random blocks of it. Also, is it the lighting or did they not match her skin tone with her face makeup at all? Also, her face. She looks so happy to be there. What is this? Is this supposed to be a hat or a mask? What? A furry blank. Is that the brand? Okay, yeah, it is. But they're furry. On, on the outside. I feel like that would defeat the purpose of even wearing them. Could you even see out of them? That hole doesn't look that great. It feels like you'd be seeing slits. And you'd be probably running into everybody and everything. I mean... Is it that bad? It's definitely interesting. I mean, I don't know. It's got the same energy as having shredded jeans, so... I... If you get rid of the cat, it just looks like a nice antique-looking skirt out of a curtain. But I feel like it would still work. Like, I don't think... If you, if you wore, like, the right outfit with it, I feel like it wouldn't look as bad. But it's got, it, I mean, it's, it's got, it's, yeah, this has got to go. Other than that, it just, it really looks like you, you took a curtain and tried to make it look not like a curtain. Um, would you actually be able to wear this out in public? There is no fabric behind those scraps. Um, you know, you typed in hippie. What more, what, what do you expect? It gives me hippie vibes, boho, you know? She's, I, I, I really don't know. Uh... I don't know if it's maybe because I've been seeing some really weird stuff on here or not. But to me, this doesn't look that bad. It's something I would never wear, but it, I don't think it looks that bad. What? Are the... Huh? Cuff ring? So that's a... That's a, like a ring for your finger? Or is it cuff ring? I don't know what a cuff ring is. I'm gonna take it as a ring. Either way, it's an accessory piece. And it's... This one is better. This one doesn't quite scream braces to me. This one is full on, like, eye dentures. This is something I feel like a psychopath would enjoy. I feel like this is something that wouldn't be as crazy if maybe you were a dentist. But even still, it's like, I don't know. It's weird. But, I mean, dentists are kind of weird too, so. I don't know. You do you, boo. What is going on here? I don't think it looks that bad. The picture, if it was a different picture, maybe it would be better. Or maybe without the creepy child, but... I mean, there's a whole trend of people, like, or was, I don't know if it's still going around, of people painting on clothes. And, I mean, it's definitely unique. But I liked it, if it was done right, you know. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, if the animal print wasn't enough, you also have to have the face. You know... Maybe an unpopular opinion, but I don't like animal print. Like, 
anything. I feel like it looks weird. I feel like I've seen some people like pull it off, but I personally am not a fan. I just, I don't like it. So I might be a little partial to thinking that these also look weird. Oh, okay. Can we stop with the awkward cutouts? Like, okay, this up here is fine, okay? That's fine, I don't mind this, but this, no. Why? Why is this a thing? Um, what am I looking at? <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Shorts with a bunch of shoe strings. You know, this comes across as one of those things that, like, those DIY channels would do as, like, don't want to throw away your old shoestrings? Accessorize your shorts with them. And, like, basically, you know, poke a bunch of eyelets in your shorts and thread your shoe laces however you want through them. And bam, you've got some fashionable hippie shorts. I don't know. Also, I mean, that's Australian dollars. What is the conversion? Uh, let me, okay. So they're originally 73 Australian dollars. So. Australian. Okay. Let's see, 73 Australian dollars is almost 50, okay. So that is still outrageous. Almost $50 in American money for the shorts. When that's something you can make at home. Fuzzy boots. But not on the inside. On the outside. The thing that comes to my mind when looking at these is you step outside and it's raining. Those things are ruined. I... Hollow out open front cardigan. You might as well not even wear it unless you want to look like you've been caught by a fisherman. I'm surprised you're even going to pay $21 for like little threads of fabric. I don't know, maybe if you pair it up with something it might, it might be a thing. But if you're wearing it like he is and bare skin in it, there's no point. <laughs> there's, there's no point in wearing it. You know, everyone talks about camel toes. Now you can have actual camel toes or any other hoofed creature. I'm trying to think. So this would be like, is this where your like big toe would go and all the others would go over here? Like, probably. Oh, that'd be so uncomfortable. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Cement oh my goodness, they've got the little, I forget what they're called, but the little accessory things that you can put on Crocs. That's funny. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The Crocs themselves don't actually look that bad, because, like, they don't look tacky. They look kind of like marble. I mean, the colors, eh, debatable, but, uh. I think that this is cute. Why are we judging the mushroom hat? Is it because it's pasteurized? Because that would, that seems a little unfortunate. But I'm sure maybe you can like, you know, put it on a little bit further back on your head so that it, it you know, wear it like you probably should so you can see. But this is cute. Here to end it all, we've got are they supposed to be like tap shoes? Is that what those are? Like the tuxedo shoes that guys have? But they're like the, the fancy suit shoes. But for women in sandal form. Honestly, it may not be that. It, it doesn't look that bad. I think the what throws me off is the uh, laces. Alright guys, well that does it for that article of fashion mysteries or disasters or crimes, uh, as you will. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it, and 
but you know if you'd like to see more stuff like this let me know and i will see y'all in the next one bye